Many of you may not know the name Jack Stout, but with his passing, EMS lost uh, an innovator, a pioneer, and a personality like no other. Beginning in 1980, Jack wrote a series of groundbreaking articles and gems introducing the concept of the public utility model of ambulance service, which at the time was one of the most innovative approaches to providing EMS. His concept was derived from research and then practical application in multiple cities that originated while he was a member of a team studying the topic at the University of Oklahoma's Center for Economic and Management Research. The healthy intellectual debate created by these articles inspired change and the reassessment of the status quo across multiple types of EMS systems. I was the municipal EMS director in St. Louis in early 1981 when Jim Page, the then publisher of GEMS, called me and said, you need to go to Kansas City and meet this guy Jack Stout. He's the consultant and that's putting together a new kind of ambulance service there. Jack's commitment to patients and system accountability deeply impressed me. A few weeks later, I made a life-changing decision to be part of the implementation of the Metropolitan Ambulance Service Trust, which was one of the first systems using system status management. I might add that our SSM program initially ran on an Apple IIe computer. Jack became a mentor, a friend, and as I left the Kansas City EMS program to start Fitch & Associates, he became a friendly competitor. He mentored and encouraged the development of quite a number of EMS leaders over the years. And I don't want to mislead you, Jack and I didn't always agree on everything EMS, but when we didn't agree, we were able to discuss our differences in a way that we both learned something. And I've always appreciated and respected that. Now Jack was also a prolific writer. In addition to writing in gems, he contributed chapters and articles to multiple textbooks, including the original edition of the Pre-Hospital Systems and Medical Oversight text created by the National Association of EMS Physicians that was used for training medical directors. And he also contributed to the management textbook that I had the privilege of editing titled Pre-Hospital Care Administration that was used in the Fitch Leadership Training Series. Jack's patient-centered approach, coupled with a clear focus on value and efficiency and measurable quality that began now four decades ago, really preceded and anticipated the sea change in healthcare that we're seeing today. In 2014, Jack received the Lifetime Achievement Award at Pinnacle. He was sadly already suffering from Alzheimer's and it was a bright moment for him and for many of us that he mentored over the years when he received a very small token of the recognition he deserved. Jack leaves behind an incredible legacy. His son Todd expanded on his work by developing First Watch and Todd's organization continues today to support systems that are improving quality and measuring both performance and outcomes in EMS. You know, it's been said that we all leave footprints in the sands of time. And Jack Stout left positive footprints for our profession on multiple leaders and on his family as well. He's given us footprints to follow as we continue to effectively and efficiently serve patients. Thank you, Jack.